patrons that are always looking for places to go, either before to eat, after to eat, or just, you know, get out of the building. And we didn't have that before. Some really big changes are coming to the Bushnell Park area. 1,200 new homes are set to pop up downtown right in the area you see on this map. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live from that area. And Matthew, the state really has some big hopes for this development. Yeah, Aaron and Mark, they do. And, you know, Governor Lamont has always said he wants to bring high-paying jobs to the capital city. But in order to do that, the capital city needs to be attractive to that workforce. So what we're seeing right now, we're seeing the gears in motion to turn this part of Hartford into a walkable arts district. As Roxanne Dubicki looks out of the second floor window of the Bushnell, she sees progress. There's grass. There's no construction anymore. In her seven years working at the Bushnell, she didn't see a lot happening to transform this area. It's been slow going. The area known as Bushnell South is about to get a huge makeover. Developer Clay Fowler calls what you see here an asphalt desert. This is the vision for it. We expect to build, to build a piece of an urban village here with a variety of buildings, building types, street level uh, interest, uh, very pedestrian friendly. 1,200 households, 63,000 square feet of retail, cultural and commercial space with new gathering spots, all anchored by Hartford's crown jewel, the Bushnell Theater. We want to bring, continue to bring the folks down who always come, but we want them to be able to walk up and down Capitol Avenue or over toward Buckingham and hear music coming out of, uh, out of a bar, hear music coming out of a club space of some kind. A forum discussing the vision was held tonight inside the Bushnell. Dozens from the community had their questions answered. While most of the development will replace these parking lots, there are concerns about preserving the historical buildings attached to the project, like the old state offices at 55 Elm. 55 Elm is stunning. It's very handsome. The preservation of that is important. The project is expected to take years, but it already has caught the eyes of those in attendance, including Roxanne, who would consider moving from Stafford. In five years and, and there's going to be some new housing, I'm going to be an empty nester, and that might be more of a possibility for me and um, looking to have more culture and more things to do. Now, I want to take you to Portland, Oregon right now, and that's because I asked the developer to point to one of his previous projects to kind of give us a glimpse as to what this part of Hartford could look like. And his answer was the Pearl District in Portland, Oregon. Like this part of Hartford, Pearl has a lot of older rise, low rise buildings, and it has been transformed into a walkable downtown with a lot of boutique shops and restaurants. That is the latest live here in Hartford. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.